So now that I've got this thing in the shop, I put some air in the back tires and they held. Front tires are just shredded so they wouldn't take air at all so I'll have to replace those. I put some oil on the gas pedal and the gas pedal's working but clutch and, <laughs> and uh, brake aren't working at all yet. As we know the motor's not seized. So I took the air cleaner assembly off that I built to check out the carburetors. So far so good. First thing you check is that the constant velocity pistons move freely up and down. They are. <coughs> choke functions. Uh, let's see, open the choke. Throttle works, not sticking. My old fuel lines look like they're still intact. Nothing's mouse chewed. Now I've got to pop a bowl off a carburetor and see how bad it is inside. There's no gas in the tank, so that's a good sign. Nothing to gum it up all those years. Hmm. We'll get a bit of steel wool in there and clean it out. It's just dry crusties, no big deal. It's got main jet. I'll have to stick a pin through there and see if it's clear. Float's not sticking. Now I've got to look and see if the needle's going up and down, which is right there. Yeah, it's not sticking. It's going up and down. No problem. Okay. Carbs don't look that bad. It was covered, you know. Not even a sign or smell of gas in there barely. Now the next thing I did was just get a battery I garbage pick that still works. Run some booster cables to the battery box area. Those are the two sides of the battery box. Hooked up to the positive and negative wires. So I don't happen to have a what is it called a 12N9 motorcycle battery for this thing. I do have the key. Things are sounding good. Still got the same old oil in it, I guess. Let's, I guess I better check the oil. Oh yeah. Not too dirty. It's actually see-through. Huh. Well, if it could stay in the ground 65 million years, it's good enough for me. I'm sure it's been in this machine for at least the last 25 years or more since I last changed it. Levels right. Now I've just unhooked the spark plug wires from the engine and stuck two random spark plugs on each side just for a spark test. Coils look intact. So let's crank her and see. No spark there. Hmm. No luck. Well, if you look inside this air scoop, I believe that's where the points and condensers, well, I mean the points are, the condensers are at the back, so I'll have to take that cover off. And the air scoop, too. And do my typical point sanding and seating technique. That's probably all it needs. Back to the carbs. I've got a little tiny brass pin. Oh, jets are clear. At least that jet's clear. I'll have to check the other side. Sweet. Now one more check before I try to sand the points. I've got my meter hooked up. Negative is to negative, of course. And I'll see with the key on on position if there's power, at least positive, going to the coil. Yeah, I guess there is. So, it definitely has to be a point sanding problem. Well, next step. Got the side cover off. Now you can see the old motor. Now for that little cover. Huh. Comes out no problem. Gotta love your Hondas. There they are. 
the old fashioned points of condenser system. Now I just got to sand there and there and check the gap. Let's give her another crank and see what's happening. Yeah, they're working. Well, when points are in open position, like on any engine that doesn't use a CDI system that needs a battery to start, you can jump across with the screwdriver and see if you get spark. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, I see spark. Look at that plug. I hear it too. Let's try the other side. Yeah, I can hear the snapping. So, definitely is just points. They're dirty. Best sandpaper to use? Well, it comes in different brands, but it's basically called silicon carbide. It's the black stuff. It's the hardest. It does the best job for sanding points. So you tear a little strip off, fold it over so there's a bristly side on both sides, shove it in the points and sand back and forth, like so. And just open them up a little bit, shove it in and start sanding. You may even want to rotate the engine so that they come closed and pinch your sandpaper harder. And just keep working it like that and straight back and forth. Never touch the part of the sandpaper that makes contact with the points. Now the other side. Now time to give them a blow while they're in open position. Oh, the compressor turned on. Then you rotate the engine until they're in closed position and you grab the points arm and it always moves back and forth a little bit pretty much in any engine and you move it back and forth while pushing the points even more closed and you rub them together so it makes a good contact. Now I gotta rotate that side. Okay, it's closed. Rub them. It's only moving less than a millimeter, but I can feel the texture. Now I can see if it sparks. Ooh, that one's making contact. I see the sparks. I hear them too. I can hear the spark plug jumping. Try the other side. Oh, I think that's closed. Let's see if it sparks. Ooh, that's working good. I think she's ready to fire up as soon as I clean that bowl out, add some gas. So final test, turn the key on, crank the engine and check for spark. Huh. Oh yeah, there's spark. 